I'm an ex pro skate student, so I started from 2014 and I left in 2019. Yeah. Um, after that, I went into study at Brampton Manor. My main thing is I did maths, further maths and physics. And then after that, I took a gap year. During this gap year, I tried to find work and I managed to find a job at the CST. The job initially was just in-class support and taking out a small group of students. And then over time, it slowly evolved um, into me helping out with the curriculum, into me going into different schools across the trust, helping out with things like attendance and data and creating systems for that. What made you take the gap year? Um, there were two things mainly. First, I didn't get into the university I wanted to, so I wanted another chance to apply. And secondly, probably the most important thing was the tuition fees. Yeah. The, this, uh, essentially £30,000 and I didn't have a penny to my name at that point. What grades did you get in Brampton Manor in, in the sixth form? Um, so the three A-levels I did, maths, further maths and physics, I got three A-stars in there. If I go into UCL, um, well done. I think right now I prefer that just because now I can work part time. It's helping me with, I, I can balance things a lot better than if I was living over. So I think in the end it worked out well. And what are you studying in UCL? Maths, pure maths. Are you enjoying it? Quite a bit, yeah. I'm enjoying my course. Okay, good. That's good to know. Expand on the kind of skills that you picked up when you were here working for CST last year full time. So I think the first thing I picked up was working within an organization, sort of having a line manager, being surrounded by a team, having to work with other members of staff, mm -hmm. reporting back to someone. Um, I was also involved in making things like curriculum plans mm -hmm. and I think that taught me the importance of making systems which are like accessible to everyone. Yeah. So it's being extended like upwards, then the force is going to be in the opposite direction. Probably the most important thing was the actual teaching skills I developed. Yeah. Being able to, knowing that you need different skills yeah. with low ability students, middle ability students and high ability students. Yeah. And knowing how to apply myself in those different situations. Because of the experience I've had, yeah. I would recommend anybody with a similar set of grades or similar set of skills to take a gap year and to go down something like this. Yeah. When you are at the age of 17, 18, and you've just left school, you don't really have work experience per se, you just have a very strong set of results.